I watched the new LEGO Ninjago Dragon Rising Season 2 clip in 0.25x speed, and here's some things that I found that you may have missed. In the beginning of the scene, we can see Lord Roz and Jordana walking through the forest, and the forest is called the Forest of Spirit. Now, one thing I cannot believe I did not see is that Jordana actually has Ninjargon on her suit. Now, I wonder what it says because I haven't heard anyone else talk about that, and it's my first time noticing it. As they walk through the forest, I got that vibe of like the island season and how it could look something like that, it's just if it was brighter. Anyway, once they reach the destination, which is this huge temple and this giant wolf head is in the front of it, a few things caught my eye. Number one, there's Ninjargon everywhere. There's Ninjargon on the rocks, there's Ninjargon on the temple itself, as you can see. And also, another thing that caught my eye was the blue flowers. Now, the blue flowers is actually something big because we saw the same thing when Kai and Wildfire were go stealing the dragon energy core from those rock monsters. We saw that ex exact same blue flower. Now, this could be, this is big, and I'm about to tell you why. Lord Raz starts telling Jordana about the other lands in the wildness. So, it's not just where Wildfire came from, which is the, which is, I guess, the Boiling Beach. No, it's not just that. It's the four spirits, where they are right now, and it's also the Diamond Glaciers, and one big one, the Forever Rock. Achima and Ninjago collab has basically been confirmed because the forever rock is the place where Cragger and lavelle from chima and his friends used to play and that is big also if you look at this picture of this map we can clearly see some ice ice places on the map there which could be symbolizing the diamond glaciers and also some red which could be symbolizing the Boiling Beach. And if you did not know, that small little island that's up there, that's Chima. So, wow. There's a lot of information, guys. It's big. Hopefully, we can find someone who is able to decode this Ninjargon. It's not really that good imaging. And when the season comes out, hopefully, they will get better views and better angles of it. And then we could decode the message. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and comment your thoughts down below. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.